So it feels like it's been about two to three months since I gave you guys another, uh, a channel update, letting you guys know what's going on with me on a personal level or me when it comes to my channel, videos coming and things of that nature. But with all that said, um, I'm glad to be here talking to you guys. Um, all you guys that support me, everybody that's been watching me for years and years, and my family and stuff like that. Shout out to my mom, my grandma that have been watching me like crazy lately. You know, my biggest fans pretty much be telling me how they, how she proud of me and all that stuff. And, you know, doing things. I came a long way, and it's like a lot of stuff I could be inside and be involved with. But, you know, me, you know, being a Leo and just me being a, to myself and just a self-efficient person, I like to be a person that's different from the rest so that's what kept me out of trouble me like to be different you know, I always told myself I'm not going to do the same thing everyone else is doing generation after generation I want to try and change things so you know um, that's the reason why that's my inspiration to do the things I be doing and stuff and not following the same trends so let's talk about videos I've been posting recently. Recently, uh, I've been posting a few iPhone uh, 11 videos. Yes, I did pick up the new iPhone. Um, got the green one. I meant to get the Pro Max, but I ended up ordering the wrong one. I explained that inside my uh, video labeled or entitled, I think it was titled the top eight or type, top nine reasons why I got the iPhone 11. And these are just things I was randomly seeing and that was really impressing me and that, that made me want to film a video actually so that's what made me that's what the reason why I filmed that video because the phone itself surprised me and made me buy it you know without me even having that even on my mind I didn't have buying an iPhone 11 on my mind at all until I started watching like details of it and it really impressed me so it really deserved to get my money you know what I'm saying and then also speaking of the iPhone 11 I also put up a, a movie short with that you know went out and just filmed it real quick and just you know put that together and so that was my first official 4k video I've ever filmed ever I know there's been 4k cameras out for about five six years six years already but with me I'm the patient type in the last past two years so it's like I like to just sit back wait and just wait for the right moment to start filming 4k and just you know where it makes sense for me to start doing it not just because it's out there you know I want to make I want to wait for I have a reason or I feel like doing it or feel, feel like filming a video catered towards that resolution, not just because I have the option to. And the iPhone 11, even though you can't compare it to a cinema camera, but it does allow you to pull off 4K easy. Like I think from this phone, every minute of footage is about 1.5 gigabytes every, every minute. So um, that's a lot of memory. And if it was a cinema camera pumping out 4K, every minute is like about five or seven gigabytes you know what i'm saying per minute that's how much data is inside a 4k image so speaking of filming it's a nice little segue um i got a comment uh this year in the, kind of in the middle of this year i'll go ahead and just let, let the comment speak for itself i also was asking myself that question this year has been a complete disaster when it comes to my filming and stuff. Ever since I got my Sigma uh, 14 or 18 and 35 millimeter f1.4, bragging about how I want to be, you know, finally filming my videos with that with that lens, my YouTube, I'm not my YouTube videos, but my music videos for people and stuff like that. You know, I was finally bragging about that. Haven't filmed not one ever since I got the lens. Haven't got no videos done this year. Um, it's been a complete fluke this year. I got flaked on. It's not that I haven't got no video work scheduled. I actually had people scheduled. I had meetings and stuff. I even drove out to far locations. Motherfuckers didn't show up. Sorry to be so blunt, but just imagine how I feel. You know, wasting gas and needing the money at the time, and it was a big chunk of chunk of uh, change and. I just don't get nothing heard from. And then the person got enough nerve to call the person that connected us together and tell them that I'm the one that didn't show up and didn't have no communication when they don't know that I'm like, for the most part, when it comes to like my vlogging and little personal things I'm doing with my filming and stuff, I'm an open book. So I vlogged right there in the moment, putting it on f and putting it on Facebook. That person didn't know I did that. So while they were lying to the person, I was literally vlogging around the same time in the location waiting for them to show up. You know what I'm saying? It was like stupid shit like that. My regulars flaked on me a couple of times. I'm like, I don't know what the hell was going on this year. So I sent out messages to people letting them know that I'm done filming. You know, I'm into my film career and my regular job won. Like I told, was telling people last year in the beginning of this year, I, I don't know if people thought I was playing. Either one was going to win, either Walmart was going to win or my or YouTube, my film career was going to win. So yeah, personally, just to be honest with you, that's been a mental struggle. I ain't going to lie about that. You know what I'm saying? It's a mental struggle, especially when you 
doing everything you can, you want to, you know, succeed inside a certain area and just everything you're doing is like, you know, like people not taking you serious and shit like that. And, you, and you're at your best that you've ever been. It's just people, I don't know. You always need somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter how good you are at what you do, you still need people to get you to where you need to go. Just by you knowing what you do, it don't mean everybody else knows. So you gotta put yourself around everybody. You got you have to put yourself out there. You have to be controversial a little bit sometimes just to get people to even look at you. Why you think of celebrities start fights with other people and stuff right before they drop their album, right before so that so it can get people to look at them. I even got work. I got big uh budget work and stuff just from me posting a controversial post online talking about how I'm the shit and everybody else that film sucks and stuff like that and I had to get people looking at me like who the fuck this dude think he is? who the hell is this let me see what the hell he working with like what the hell emilyfilms.com oh 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 okay he is kind of okay you know I had people even tell me their, re their reaction was like that you know what I'm saying so it's like sometimes that work I don't know what I'm saying you do that all the time I'm just saying like sometimes it just sucks that you got to get people attention like that that's that's my point you know, but yeah, I made the announcement on, you know, my social sites that, you know, I'm going to be done filming. What does that mean? Uh, a lot of people didn't know what that meant, even, especially when I started talking about selling my stuff. I already posted my Canon C100 battery, a uh, battery, ba a body on a uh, online already for sale for $2,000. So that's already up, you know, up for sale. So what, do, what does all this mean? Does that mean no more YouTube videos from your boy? Y'all ain't going to be seeing me no more. Does it mean that? Not necessarily. What it means is, what I meant about that is, I'm done filming for people as far as music videos, weddings, vlogs, live performances, all that type of stuff. I was filming for people. I'm done. I'm no longer doing that anymore. As far as like I'm a manager now, I don't even have time to even be dealing with. I do, I could, and I do have time, but the way people have been dealing with me and doing me this year, I don't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting on about $10,000 worth of equipment I can sell and be $10,000 in the green, you know what I'm saying, if I wanted to. Like, all year long, literally, I only, film, I only did one gig all year, you know what I'm saying? And that wasn't even a music video or nothing. So, um, you know, go figure. And it wasn't even nothing that I did as far as me editing. I filmed something for someone and gave them the footage for their team of people to do. So it's not wasn't even an official video or Emily Films video I done for anybody this year yet. That blows my fucking mind. Cause me, I'm like the up and up person. They gotta be I gotta be doing things better than the previous year. Doing bigger and bigger than the previous year are the same or at least something. This year has been nothing. It's even so deep that even the people I text, I haven't looked, looked at the response yet, that I even was blunt, like, like I'm tired, like, I ain't about to continue being insane, trying to chase people, trying to chase, you know, just being known, you know what I'm saying? Like, people just ignore my shit, and like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's when, you, when you're explaining this stuff, it sounds like you're being childish, you're being, and being nitpicky and being selfish, but when you actually understand where I'm, where I'm coming from, it's a whole different thing you understand it more because it's not it's not like as simple as it may seems you know so yeah um enough of my sob stories and lollygagging but um like i said i'm not about to sit here and keep on being insane trying to continue to do the same thing and it's not going nowhere um i'll sell half of my equipment for now and just pick it back up next year you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with that you know um i can always buy the stuff again it's not like this is the last of the film equipment that i own in the whole entire world because think about it if i would have sold all my stuff seven months ago this year seven months ago it wouldn't affect anything because i haven't got anything well i have got stuff from then to now but each job been flaking on me you know what i'm saying like like i said in the beginning of the video it's crazy all right so going into november talk about some videos now enough of my uh sob stories and stuff like that um me and my son got our season finale of stack time coming up where we're gonna watch all our episodes and stuff all the funny moments and I'm, i can't wait for that because uh, besides the first three episodes, my son haven't watched any of the other snack time videos like at all. So he don't even see none of the editing I done to make it even more funnier and stuff with me and him being goofy and stuff. So I can't wait for that. We're gonna have we're both gonna be on camera watching the videos. I'm gonna have a video. Either we're gonna be on the green screen so you guys can see the video playing behind us, or I'm just gonna pop up a little box uh, of the video playing while we're watching. You know, while we're giving our reactions on camera. So that's gonna be our season finale, and then next year we're gonna kick it off again with you know a lot of uh, just pretty much what we already was doing, 
the whole concept is testing out you know new uh snacks like cookies cereal and stuff that just came out crazy little different flavors and stuff and just giving our reactions to it you know just being funny and just open with it we don't we don't we don't plan nothing we don't um script nothing or nothing we just do it you know we just i'd let my son know hey we got another snack time video coming up or if we both out inside the store we see something or if we see something or if i see something we pick it up like up oh, snack time snack time another snack time video you know what i'm saying if, so, if we see something that's intriguing while we out shopping so um that's how we do it and we just set up a day we're gonna film and you know we just do it you know we don't set up nothing we just we don't script nothing or nothing and those took off way better than i expected even though if you go look at the views of those videos they only have like 40 to 200 views per video which isn't that much um but most of them have under like under 100 views but the reason why i feel like it took it off it took off real well is because these videos that we that we were doing it's the first time in my life out of over 1500 videos i got online right now as we speak um it's the first time ever people have come up to us multiple people came up to me and him saying like oh yeah we like your videos like people that know us on a personal uh, level because i'm not used to people watching me uh that know me uh, personally but watching my YouTube videos because they just don't you know what I'm saying like that's just how it works you know people that know you only know you for what you was they don't know you for where you're at now so it's hard for them to look at you as that person and that's what keeps you grounded I like that though because it's on the flip side it keeps you grounded but on the other side it makes you feel like kind of like they're not supporting you enough they're not showing you enough love when it comes to your stuff so a lot of people have been telling us like yeah man those snack time videos bro like making me laugh my ass off y'all need to keep those up like just keep on pushing those out so we got our season finale coming up uh next month or maybe early december i might do it next we might do it next month uh, uh or this month should i say uh november um right now is uh, october 30th next uh next uh tomorrow what's that next next i'm about to say next tomorrow tomorrow i'm um, having a bonfire probably for halloween or whatever just chill at the house do a little something some cook or whatever have some snacks and cookies and music and all kind of stuff like that as far as new tech i got coming in to review i got a, a new alienware 18 inch laptop that i've been paying off you know kind of scored you know kind of caught something something caught my eye on my birthday you know when i went i went to a pawn shop to go uh just to pawn something real quick to get, get a little bit of extra money for my birthday uh, that passed this year, August uh, 5th. So when I go inside there, I happen to see from my peripheral vision, damn big ass giant Alienware laptop just chilling. You know what I'm saying? And if you've been paying attention to my videos, for the people that do watch all my videos, I mentioned that um, I want to replace my desktop with um, one of those Alienware laptops, 17 inch. Um, the 18 inch is kind of old compared to you know the, the 17 inches that's out right now that's the, the 17 inches is the one i wanted but the deal i got from that 18 inch alienware laptop and it's upgradable too i've been watching videos left and right i can't wait to do that video because it's the price i got it for it's just ridiculous and it comes with the backpack too all inside the same price i'm like and they had it on sale because it wasn't selling so and then i went to go look at the price of it uh used on ebay and amazon i'm like bro yeah i scored uh, when I first get it for the first time out the pawn shop, I'm not going to look at it myself. I'm going to bring it all right here and do it all on camera with you guys and see what graphics it have inside there. Cause that's one thing I didn't check. There's two things I'm hoping when it comes to that laptop. I'm hoping that it has two because they're supposed to have dual graphics cards inside those laptops. Depends on how you got them configured. Um, you can always upgrade them later so you can get it with the bare minimums and just upgrade it later. So I'm hoping that it's not a cheaper price because there's no graphics cards inside of it and it's just the bare minimums you know so i'm hoping but even if it is that i got it at a good price to where even if i do have to buy the graphics card separately it's gonna you know take a little hit but at the same time still a pretty good deal so i got that video coming still owe a couple more payments i'm about to go ahead and get ready to pay it off uh probably sometime soon probably in the middle of this month you know it's a little early christmas gift well it's supposed to be a birthday gift to myself actually not a christmas gift but um that's a lit literal birthday gift but right about a birthday gift to myself so can't wait to enjoy that but yeah man other than that i've just been doing my thing you know i'm doing my manager thing taking care of business tired as hell uh you know um i work from 2 p.m to 11 p.m so that's the whole day i don't like that schedule that's the worst schedule to me in my life my most perfect schedule in the world is four in the morning you know what i'm saying anywhere around there three or four in the morning get all your work done had a whole entire day 
just to do whatever, you know what I'm saying? You can get other work done. Like, I used to get all my videos and stuff done when I was working at that time, having the whole rest of the day, getting all kind of other business done and things of that nature. And then go to bed like around 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, I go to bed like around 11. All I need is like four or five hours for me personally and I'm good. So that's gonna do it for this huge channel update. It was real big. I don't know how much I chopped out of this. I know I did a lot, a lot of yagging, so I'll be all right chopping a lot of that out. One day I'm gonna do a video of me not chopping nothing out, just letting you guys see all the bloopers, all just everything. My filming is gonna end for now. Um, I got equipment posted online already that I'm gonna sell. Even my lenses, I'm about to post today. Even my camera crane. I'm not playing no games, man. I'm not having been using nothing. I got other moves I'm trying to make. That's that's the reason why I will sell something. That's a tool. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna use that money to make other moves, then bam. Like for example, I still got about three hundred dollars to pay on my Alienware. I'm gonna get that bad boy out, and you know that's a video right there. And money coming in from that video, pulling in revenue and pulling in subscribers, just for me touching bases on, you know, the de detailed product of that you know what i'm saying also put a thousand towards my car it needs a new damn head gasket at this point you know what i'm saying i've been said that inside my uh video talking about the uh the little gasket fix stuff but yeah bam i can get that taken care of and then if anything i can just wait for you know tax can to come around and buy my camera again it's no big deal it's not like someone's dying or something or you know what i'm saying i'm just selling my gear and is buying it again later. I might buy something smaller for YouTube sake and stuff, or I might just use my iPhone 11. There's been videos out there where if people didn't tell you it was filmed with an iPhone 11 Pro, you wouldn't even know. So that's how good that bad boy is, but I'm not gonna rely strictly on a phone to film professional videos, but if it's YouTube videos, then hey, I still got my Canon 70D, which I might not sell. I still wanna keep that, at least for the time being. So I'm going to end this video right now. It's been a long channel update. Been a long time coming, a long time since I talked to you guys on a personal level. Everybody that's been supporting me, thank you guys a very lot. And anybody that's going through something, you know, just keep your head up, hold hold strong, hold steady, you know what I'm saying? Um, just keep them roots rooted, let that wind sway you, but as long as some roots is in that ground, you ain't going nowhere, baby, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get it. <laughs>